And a lot of people believe that Satan was originally a cherub and not an archangel. Hmm. You gotta respect that. Now, I, I want to I talk about the whole Satan and archangel thing. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because if he was just a, not like a cherub or whatever, and he went dark or got free will or whatever people want to say, sure. how would he get all the power that he got? He didn't really get that much power, though, because, like... If, yeah, he did. Well, he he rebelled against God, and then he I mean, thrown... if it takes my if it takes Michael to fight him, then I'm pretty sure he's got power. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily... If it really... If it takes an archangel know, to fight look. something, because they're the, probably the strongest beings besides God. So, uh, the cherubim are assigned with many different roles, such as protecting the entrance of the Garden of Eden. So, remember at like, the start of the Bible, when uh, Adam and Eve were, were sicked out of heaven, uh, not heaven, out of the Garden of e Eden, right? Yeah. And yeah. remember how they couldn't go back because there was a giant like angel with a flaming sword? I don't recall that. Well, that so the reason that they didn't just go back into Eden was because there was this massive, monstrous angel with a big old flaming sword that was like, "Hey, you come over here. I'm a slice ya." Um, Man, what a buzzkill! Right? <laughs> what a buzzkill! But that was just to the humans. Yeah, that was just to the humans. But that was a terrible. Any still. angel could be more powerful than a human. Because we're just humans. Oh well, yeah, but I mean, still. But I think if 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 that cherub went against Michael, the archangel, I'm pretty sure Michael would beat him. But Michael did beat the devil. Yeah, but they needed Michael to <laughs> beat him. They didn't just well, send yeah. any angel to go get. Well, hey, you over there, go get Lucifer. <laughs> well, Run I mean, I like, we so we we got these cherubs that are like you know these uh like chimera looking. Flame and sword wielding uh, creatures, right? Mm -hmm. And the other two angels that I know about, I don't think there are, I haven't been able to find any others, but the other two angels that I know about are the throne angels and the seraphim. The throne angels, all they do is carry the throne, and the seraphim, they basically just worship God. That's their, that's their only, that's their only deal. So, the, other than another cherub, the only per, the only angel that could fight the devil and re and like realistically win is an archangel because those are the only one only because cherubs and archangels are the only two warriors yeah i mean so i mean yeah i guess i don't know i guess god could have sent another cherub but that would leave the possibility that the devil would win so like i mean it's it's, it's just a safer bet to send an archangel yeah but i guess it depends on um you know, like how people, if they want to make it so that it looks like Lucifer's super powerful, sure. then they would send an archangel. Heaven has a lot of pride. God has a lot of pride, you know. So sure. I don't think, I think it'd be, it'd be better for him if he won the fight just sending a random angel. Okay, so like what you're saying is like it wouldn't, it would look better if he didn't need to use an archangel? Yeah, because that just makes Lucifer look super duper tough. Yeah, I guess that's fair, but... Again, like it's it's really just up to your personal interpretation of the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but, I mean, but wait, what are demons? What are demons? Um, I didn't look. Are, much they, into, are they fallen angels, or did Lucifer make them? I don't think Luce. I think God made demons, and I don't. I don't know for sure. Oh, like this could be proven completely inaccurate, but I would assume that God made demons because demons are the things that torture people in hell, right? Yeah. And God made hell. The devil, he is not the ruler of hell. He is being tortured eternally in hell. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, he's probably the only one in hell that can, like, well, I guess besides demons, but they fall in his, like, under his order. But, um, like, he can go and do things on the world, in, in Earth, you know? Yeah, like, like his he influence could affect is, still, Earth. is still felt in, yeah. in the world. Yeah. You know, like, how he was... A snake as a snake in the garden of oh Eden. actually I, I have an interesting thing or... about that oh, okay. so the reason that most people um think that the devil was the snake in the garden of eden is because in revelations um the devil is referred to when he, like when the the devil shows up to to fight everybody um he's in the bible it refers to him as that old snake 
most people assume that that old snake means that he was the old snake from the Garden of Eden. Um, but it can yeah. be argued that it's just that's just like a, a vague insult. Like, oh, you old snake. Because um, he was sly and was yeah. always trying to sneak his way into his, like people's he, heads. Yeah, and he's like an infinite amount of years old. Um, he was kind of he's kind of like Loki in Norse mythology. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah, Loki is also often depicted with snake imagery. Um, yep. But the snake in the Garden of Eden, um, if you read some of the other Abrahamic texts, um, some of the things other than the Bible, Adam had a first wife other than Eve called I think Lilith and basically Lilith so God created Adam then God created Lilith Lilith did something and Lilith was like banished or whatever and then God Lilith? created Lilith it might have been Lilith yeah 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 it was Lilith and then God created Eve and Lilith turns into a snake to trick Eve for stealing her husband yeah I would do the same <laughs> <laughs> Same. Um, and How did she get to turn into a snake? Why did she get to turn into a snake? It might have just been like her punishment. I think she turned into like the species of snake, not not like an individual snake. I think she turned into like the entire species, um, because after in the in the Bible it says like God's punishment to the snakes is that they'll crawl around on their stomachs for all of eternity for what they've done. Without arms. Without no limbs or nothing. Um, but since it's Lilith, that's the snake, that's the reason why a lot of the... Like, if you look at a picture of um, the snake giving Eve the apple, a lot of the older paintings of that depict the snake as having a woman torso. Um, 